Black magic is really where all the fun is. White magic is mostly birthday parties and card tricks. Light is magic. No, it's not. There is magic in the way it is created, in the way it travels, the way it behaves. The way it shines and stuff. And beyond the magic of light itself, there is the magic of science, finding new and amazing uses for light, the life giver. The rump shaker. Sunlight is a mixture of several different kinds of light. Most familiar is the visible light, the kind of light we see and see by. Where? Then, oh. as modern sun worshippers know, <laughs> sunshine contains an invisible form of light called ultraviolet. Starring Mila Jovovich. Ultraviolet light produces tan skins and those healthy little things called vitamins. Oh, like riboflavin and Barney Science Rubble. Science has learned how to produce this invisible form of light artificially. And now, without leaving our homes, we can turn winter into summer. But what about hibernating woodchucks? The scientific ultraviolet light generator is arranged to remove all of the visible light and project a strong beam of invisible black magic light. Consult your local priest or shaman. One of the most amazing things about ultraviolet light is its ability to help us see things which by ordinary light are impossible to see. Things like love and the Babadook. The radiations of pure ultraviolet light produce a strange effect called fluorescence. And that's how dorm rooms were invented. Fluorescence is a glow such as is found in the figures of an illuminated clock dial. Good night, Flav. Many different chemicals respond to the radiations of ultraviolet light. And the mellow sounds of early Floyd. Different chemicals seem to respond with a different glow. Sometimes they give you superpowers, sometimes lymphoma. This fluorescent effect makes it possible to read many secret or hidden messages. The ink with which the hidden message is written seems to glow under the magic rays. Now let's see if there are any secret messages on the hotel bed. By the same principle on altered documents, erasures and changes may be brought out so that the attempted alteration is clearly visible. Nice try, Mr. Trump. Mixed in with the visible sunlight and the ultraviolet light is another magic light that our eyes cannot see, but which we can feel as heat. These invisible rays of heat which forms so large a part of sunshine, have been given the name infrared light. <laughs> Sun-dried ice cream was a terrible idea. Infrared light has no visual effect on our eyes. So in order to see its results, we must use a camera containing a special film which hmm? is sensitive only to infrared light. What's film? To furnish invisible light for the infrared camera, we will use these big electric units which produce no visible light at all. And how do you know when they're broken? And now, for the first time on the motion picture screen, we are going to see a picture made entirely by infrared light in a dark room. Put on your 3D glasses now. There go the lights. And here is the picture taken by the infrared camera. And remember, to the eye, this girl is in total darkness. That's it. Just act natural. Do what you'd normally do, dressed up, sitting in a chair in the dark. Infrared light is very penetrating in its effect. With it, for example, we can even take the young lady's picture while she's hiding behind a screen coated with rubber. Weird, right? This is how they shot Donna Reed's close-ups. The magic light shows that even a brand new shave isn't good enough when you are posing for the infrared camera. There's no sin so small that you can hide from Maybe infrared. He down and finds the whiskers that haven't even sprouted yet. Previews a shave three days in advance. Visible white light has also been put under control by science. A remarkable new device splits light into separate narrow rays so that the path of a beam can easily be followed. We'll find out where light has been all night. Notice that a light spreads out from its source in all directions. Wow, it is magic. Not. We can see how a mirror reflects light. Whether it's still breathing or whether it's a vampire. How a prism bends the rays in different directions. Oh, cool, it's just like that famous album cover from Katy Perry. And how light can even be bent around corners in tubes and pipes. The internet is a series of tubes. Now let's see the effect of a simple reflecting surface used to control light. The rays leave their source, strike the reflector, and bounce back on themselves in the same path. Strike that, then reverse it. Then if we place a lens like this in the path of the light, the rays are bent inward. What if light can feel pain? Now let's try another type of lens, similar to the lens used in automobile headlights. Instead of bringing the rays together at a point, 
This lens bends them so they go out in parallel lines. Directly into the eyes of the oncoming driver. In the motor car headlight, the new system of light control makes use of the type of reflecting surface called a parabolic reflector. Which is not to be taken literally. No matter at what angle the light rays strike the reflector, they are bounced back in an even parallel path. Beams that step out of line are dealt with swiftly. The actual mechanics of this new headlamp are somewhat similar to previous two-beam lamps. Invented by Arthur Two Beams Jackson. When we are driving in the country, light from the central filament is used, and an intense beam of light is reflected straight ahead and far down the road. Don't carry nothing that might be a load. When we switch to the passing beam, another filament only a few thousandths of an inch away is lighted, and the beam is now aimed down and to the right of the road. Now cough. A more accurate lens has been designed to direct light farther ahead in the driving beam and more light on the right side of the road for the passing beam. Damn your brights. Then the whole unit has been sealed airtight so that air and moisture, tarnish and rust, cannot cut down its efficiency. Until they inevitably do. And so today, we drive with headlights that apply the latest principle of scientific light control. On our way to Hooters. Headlights suited to the speeds at which we travel. Really, really slow. On the high road, controlled light makes possible safe speed because we can always stop within the range of our own headlights. Wait, what? In city driving and in passing other cars on the highway, our controlled passing beam continues to light the right side of the road without shining in the other fellow's eyes. Hypothetically. If we drive safely and always dim our lights when passing, we can take full advantage of the new control science has given yes, us. Yes, control. Next step, genetically engineered food, eugenics, unregulated interspecies cloning. Uh, when scientific advancement depends on people remembering to politely flick a switch, eh, we're doomed. And in the laboratories of today, science is working on the light of tomorrow, seeking still more numerous ways of using it to make life for all of us better and safer. Or at least shorter. Who knows what miracles are yet to come from the amazing development of visible and invisible light when the magic light of tomorrow comes into its own. Magic light. Okay, movie... First of all, stop calling science magic. And second, no, I don't want to buy any headlights right now. You could have just come out and said it. All right, bye. And remember, to the eye, this girl is in total darkness. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy my videos, there are two major ways you can support me. Please subscribe to my channel and like and share Fun With Shorts videos. And please consider a small pledge to my Patreon campaign where you can see new riffs first and get exclusive patron-only videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again real soon.